Hey guys, it's October 14, 2022. Um, I keep having dreams of zombies. I just put my other video out. It's uploading right now. <clears throat> I keep having reoccurring dreams of zombies. And I've been putting it off for so many years because I just, I just didn't think that the dreams were from the Lord. But I kept praying and I kept fasting and asking the Lord to show me things. And I would have these dreams, but I thought that maybe the enemy would just be messing with me. But these dreams are coming from the Lord. And I continue even now. I continuously continuously have these reoccurring dreams different ways but different I keep having dreams of zombies so my last one that I had was October 5th and today I had a dream again of zombies October 14th so the Lord is wanting me to put this out so I'm gonna do it I'm not gonna continue to hold them back I don't want these dreams I don't want to have these dreams but it's whatever the Lord's will is. It's I'm not in control. So, so the dream today I had, I started off with me. Well, I don't know if it's like me, me. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so I, I ran into this house and there was people frantically running all over the place. They were, um, there was already zombies that there was people, there were zombies all over the place and I ran into this house and I see this man, this Hispanic man on the floor. You can tell that his body was, um, this Hispanic man on the floor, like he was unconscious, I think. And his, like his, he was shaking on the floor, like, uh, he was just shaking uncontrollably on the floor. And I knew he just got bit or something had happened to him that he was changing and I kept telling them the people that were in the house we were closing the doors we were going around closing the doors and windows and and I see this man and I told them I said you somebody needs to get him out they need to get him out get him out of here right now and I went to the back um I went to go look out the back door and the back, it was nighttime and the back porch was off, that the light was off. So I went to go flick it back on. And I was like, wait, should I put it on or should I t turn it off? Because I, I was trying to get out, to get away from the zombies. But I couldn't go to the front because there were so many zombies. And I tried to go to the side of the house. I don't know how I was going around the house, but the, I'm just telling you my dream. I went to the backyard and I was going to try to escape and jump over the fence, but everywhere I looked there were zombies trying to get to anything that looked alive and these zombies in the dream like I like I said in the other video there's some zombies that just look like a uh, human they're just blanked out but this these zombies look like dead people and then the people that were getting bit were they went through a process I guess like this man did he he got bit and he went, I guess the virus was flowing through his body and he was shaking uncontrollably. And so after I went out to the backyard to see all these zombies surrounding us, then I closed the door and there's this other girl behind me that looked normal. And she said, and she just closed the door and I said, no, I turned around. And I said, lock the door. And then she went back to try to go lock. She went back to lock the door and that man wasn't there anymore. So I was assuming that they had took him out or whatever and so I went to the to this other room to where I knew that there was a there was an out so I try to go close the door and as I try to close the door I see this humongous this huge zombie it looked like it would have been a, a guy playing football like a football player like he was a linebacker or something and he even had he even looked like might have came from football practice or a game or something because he had um his uniform or something on and but he was huge and it was a zombie and I try to close the door quick I wasn't actually go close the window so they couldn't get in but I wasn't fast enough as I went to go try to go close the window I see him open the window well, I was in a locket I meant and I see him open up the window and he was big he was huge it was this two-story house so he was able to still get up into this house and he flung the window open he jumped in right before he jumped in I closed the door real quick where I was at 
And I, and I looked at the people, I said, there's one coming, he's coming in and he's huge. He's huge. And I was trying to hold him off and I was able to hold him off for just a while. But then I heard like fumbling around that was going on back there behind the door. And I can see peeking through the door that there were um, I was trying, I, what I think I had a knife. I grabbed a knife from the kitchen. That's what it was. And I was trying to stab him through that little hole. And I see this other person fighting with the zombie, a live person. And then I, right when I opened the door, the door opened, I was about to stab this guy that was a human that was alive. And I yelled out, I said, I can't believe I almost stabbed some, I almost stabbed a human being. I can't believe I almost stabbed, um, a live person I think that's what I said and then he looked at me with wide eyes fearful like he was so scared trying to get away from this thing and he jumped in and this thing these these that was it that was all of the dream but I've had I've had dreams to where I could feel what these um zombies how powerful they are I had a dream where I was walking through, I, I want to say, do you know, um, like when you get spare parts, like a junkyard, I was walking through this junkyard as a normal person. And then all of a sudden I feel somebody inject me with something in the back of my heel. And I can, I look down and I see that they're injecting me without me even knowing I looked down and I was mad because I was like, what are you doing? And I can see it was like this, like this, um, yellow, some type of yellow liquid. And they were injecting me with it behind the back of my right heel. And as it was going into my, into it is going into my veins, I guess, like, or to my bloodstream, I can feel myself changing and morphing. I still had my mind. I can think normal, like a human, I could, I was conscious of a human, like a human conscious. I was still able to think and stuff, but I can start to feel my body changing and growing and getting huge and like powerful. I can feel, it was like as if that it changed me into like the Hulk. I felt this a huge amount of anger just flowing through my, through my body as this liquid, as this, this serum or whatever they gave me. Um, was going through my bloodstream it was making my muscles huge and I knew that I was just like the Hulk I was I got as angry as he was and I was just as strong and I was I I could feel all what this thing was feeling but in my mind I was thinking normal I could think normal but whatever the serum was it was overpowering what my human side was if that makes sense so I've had that dream before as well. And I, and there was another one in front of me and I grabbed this human, this regular human that was freaking out. And I grabbed him and I, I just tossing him like a rag doll. And so, and then it transferred over to, it went from me into this thing. And then I transferred over as if I was that person and I can feel what that person was feeling. I'm looking at this thing and it looks like the Hulk. One was pink and one was, I know this sounds really weird, but one was pink and one was purple. And I think it had to do with what each serum did to each of them. Like they were different, if that makes sense. That's the reason why it was purple and pink because the serum did different things to each one. So that's why it was different color. I was showed as different colors, but I think that's what it represented. And so I'm looking at these things and I'm freaking out. My heart is beating on my chest and I'm just saying, no, no, please. But this zombie thing that had grabbed me by my hand or that was, um, that snatched me that, well, at that time I say me because now I'm this man, he snatched me away from the, the zombie that I was, or the, that zombie thing that I was before. And I knew that that zombie wasn't going to hurt me. Like I was his friend. So I don't know if they were like friends before in life, <clears throat> before they turned into whatever that they were. So like I said, I can feel like I can think like I can think like a normal person, but this stuff would like just overtook me. So anyway, that was that, that, that was that dream that I never told anybody either. And, um, so that's how I know they're going to be strong. They're going to be fast. They're going to be able to think like humans, but they're not going to be able to control themselves because of whatever that is in them. Um, 
yeah so i just wanted to give y'all this dream um i released the other one and those are the i guess you could say compilations of the other dreams that i've had before as well as the recent dream that i had on october 5th and now my most recent dream which i just told you now and so i pray to god lord jesus please i told everybody my zombie dreams and i given them a heads up i pray to god that none of the believers are here for it but he's i'm I'm having these dreams for a reason, so I don't want to have any more of these dreams. So I love you guys. Continue to pray. And I'm not here. I don't want people to say, oh, you're fear mongering. I didn't even want to put these out from the very beginning, but I keep having these dreams. And to top it off, I woke up this morning. I wasn't, I was just going to just pray about it because I had planned to fast today as I did yesterday. And, um, I usually, I'm just going to say this part real quick because I don't want to make this video too long because it already is. Um, but usually when I do Bible studies, I use Merriam Webster. And I, um, sometimes in the beginning, it'll have like the word of the day. And today the word of the day matched, it was confirmation to this dream. So the confirmation was, um, and this is trans, transmogrify. And transmogrify means to change or to alter greatly. So I wanted to look more into what the word meant or, you know, what it, what it had to do with. So it says transmogrify is to change or to alter greatly and often with grotesque or humorous effect. So if that's not a confirmation, I don't know what is. Um, Y'all can download the app yourself. Um, to see if that is what you get as well, but I'll put it up here after this after I talk here But um, I love you guys have a blessed day. I'm not here to fear monger. I'm not here to do anything I'm, I'm just here to give you what I am being shown That's it. I love you guys pray stand strong in faith. The Lord just wants us to be pure in heart He wants us he wants the us to live for him to seek him daily and that's what we should be doing I pray for you guys. I pray for your families. I pray that y'all continue to be blessed in Jesus' name.